At SDL Health, we're committed to whole person care. We look at people's bodies as well as their minds. When we treat people's behavioral health needs, their physical health outcomes are improved as a result. I feel awareness around mental health is extremely important. No different than any other medical condition. If you're not aware that you may be having symptoms or need help, you won't reach out for that. So I, I think the awareness is probably the most basic, important piece. Without that, we, we cannot journey to having better mental health. It's a team-based approach. Everybody in the health field working together to provide the best well-rounded care we can for our patients. West Pines offers a continuum of care, ranging from outpatient treatment, medication management, and inpatient treatment for people with mental health needs, as well as substance abuse. It's really special to know that our administration and our medical group is really looking at the problems within our community to treat them before we're behind the curve. Mental health continues to be a hard issue for people. Our most successful grants are the ones where we really partner with our community to develop a new strategy, a new idea, a new way of delivering care, or a new way of impacting the health in our communities. SEL Health was awarded a grant from the Zoma Foundation for the purpose of the early identification and the early treatment of perinatal mood and anxiety disorders. Parenthood is a very difficult phase in life. We talk about one in seven women having a perinatal mood disorder. That's a huge number and historically I think has been under-recognized. Having medical providers and behavioral health providers in the same setting really opens the doors for us to provide whole person care. What I found is what I had been looking for, that personal touch. Let's get the whole scope of who you are and let me make sense of, you know, your other care providers and what else is going on. Something that I wish people knew about suicide is that it's okay to talk about. People who are dealing with those thoughts, they want somebody to notice and they want somebody to talk with them. Let's respond, let's have that conversation. My hope working with our community partners is obviously a decrease in suicide attempts and, and hospitalization, but really it's more than that. It's helping parents and community members understand that this is not a taboo conversation, that this is actually more of a normal conversation than we would like to admit, and that's okay. One thing we've been doing at all of our primary care clinics is screening for depression and anxiety when our patients come through the door. Funding for these types of programs is really important. Untreated anxiety and depression definitely manifests in physical symptoms as well. It really allows people to feel like it's okay to treat their illness as a regular illness. It's one of the great pleasures of being involved in this work to know that you're making a difference. It allows us to provide holistic care to our patients and so having the continued funding to do that is imperative. At SDL Health, we are committed to reducing the stigma related to mental health. By reducing stigma, we can reduce the barriers for people who are interested in seeking help but choose not to. The more people share that they've gone to counseling or gone to therapy, it normalizes it. There are a lot more people out there that go and utilize that service than we are really aware of. I think the future is very bright at SEL Health, and it is due to the outstanding people that carry out the work every day. I like that adage of, if you want to change the world, start at home. So let's start changing it right here. It is a strategic imperative of ours, not only to improve mental health, but to flourish.